real hungry here. Jesus. I use this space as a blacksmith, too, so let me know if you need me to grab something for you from the catalog. Let's just see what's available in here. Yeah, never mind. Worth a shot. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! <laughs> what <is> that? <sighs> Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. John Marston! It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You you kill a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <laughs> oh, it's legal. I mean, usually. Then... Maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on. We got a bit of a ride. I know. How'd you do? Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him, I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Ah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I got Uncle with me. We'll be okay. Uncle? Well, getting a scout by that gang out there might be preferable than living with him. Sometimes I think the same.
What's it be? All right, see what you can find. Like I said. You seen a... You seen a bald New Yorker? Name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. Hi there. Can I help you, partner? Yeah. I'm looking for a fella. A uh, New Yorker. Name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. We get a lot of New Yorkers. It's a resort town, you see. I'm sure. Try in the Welcome Center. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. You, uh, you seen a fella? A fella from New York? A bald guy? Yeah, a few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Go! Oh, got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump out! Come on, lady. We gotta get after him. Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. Shit! 
you caught there. Get off of me! Now calm I'll yourself! The bastard. I don't deserve this treatment! Ain't no use in fighting now, mister. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How are, you, how are you married, sir? None of your business, what I... What now? Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Send it on my behalf to West Elizabeth Cooperative Bank in Blackwater. Pay down my loans. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if... Okay, Missy. Okay.
working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Come on, let's get off. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slump. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons? And you take the slumps. How do you you today, sir. Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah, a boxer. <laughs> what took you so long? Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met, and he told me Charles was here. Surprise, <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries, it turns out. <laughs> we both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. Oh, so's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man. I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf? Ladies you know what? and gentlemen, I've seen him in better condition. 
I'll yeah, bet against him. Treat for you an epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. You know what to do, Senor Smith. Forza, forza. I seen you hit whiskey jars harder than that. Come on, Simon, hit him. What is this? This is right. You're fighting with a hand behind your back. Oh, Wolf, kill that bastard. Hit him, Lone Wolf. Don't be stupid, Lone Wolf. Not so. The Lone Wolf's gonna kill this fool. <laughs> Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey! Lone Wolf! Whoa! Made my month, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Next time, be my friend, mister. Sure. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dockside. So, what happened? You mean... Arthur and me, we were together. I had to get out, but... He went back for the money. You... You know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Well, he wasn't a good man. None of us were. But, uh... Maybe he was true to himself. Him and his code. <laughs> that pig-headed bastard. You get sick like that, I guess you... You gotta cling to something. He was hoping to come out of it. Hope was about all he had left. Maybe all any of us have. Hmm. <sighs> anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. And Micah? I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or... Since before I got off Sisica, They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. I never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh... He used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey! Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, 
You go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> So far, the further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have of denying it, at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. <laughs> Come on now! You boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well. <laughs> They weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. Feels like old times. <laughs> now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Okay. On me. Good horses. It's coming. Wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house, right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need what? a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. <clears throat>
Come on, then. Please don't be troubling me now. <laughs> You got some quality goods. Much appreciated. Should lighten my load. No funny business, okay? I'll take one. Hey! Make sure you come back tomorrow. Look out, mister! I can't sell papers if you're just gonna stand there gawking. Extra, extra. I really extra. wish you'd put that gun All your away. newsworthy needs in one paper. Enough showing off. Yeah, put the weapon Excuse away. Excuse me, friend. Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. me let's ride yes ma'am can I help you that new horse some folk buy ranches some buy horses horses are cheaper he looks mean he is my ranch it's something else you know you got to come up there he ain't had any trouble some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else. Well, sir, drop down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. Stay close to me. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing... Okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always liked Charles. 
You send it my best. I will. You know you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there. Whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man. who got found out for who he truly was we was fools to follow him i was a fool and i paid for it and i was one of the lucky ones Maka, john Maka's the one who set it off i blame me for following dutch for too long but i blame micah for most everything else he's out there and someday i hope we'll find him but not now. Come on. the country they'll be down there so james langton the bounty hunter has got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house shane finley correct and we aim to have langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers correct again though the giving back part is optimistic i'm forever the optimist you know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. This is the place. It's a view, all right. Whoa. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. I ain't sharing mine. I think I see something. Yup. There they are, down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Hmm. Come on. Let's go follow them. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Old. They'll be coming through here. We know they're down 
down there. Don't ride so close. You won't get north through here. What are you doing, huh? You, you talking to me or like to? Sorry, I ain't used to having anyone with me. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Up here, get off your horse. This might be our chance. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. Over. Come on, get over here. But, uh, it's your call.
need our horses. I know that. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at him here dead. I told you I'd kill every last one of them. Like the shit. That damn Harvey. Come on, it's time to collect. Got any objections? What's in here? Uh, Are you with her? What's it look like? Uh, Let's go for a ride. Uh, All right, girl. Uh, uh, look where you're going. Now let's get out of here. Come on. <laughs> Need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. Can you pick it up, please? Why are you stopping? together so yes where were we I'm serious yep and so am I hit him John please hey you don't need to do that just because she told you to I don't need to be hit I just want to be treated civil shut it Whoa. you heard the lady thank you I still protest my innocence this woman ripped me out of my bed kidnapped me then let Langton kidnap me then you killed them all and kidnapped me back! I'm the victim here! Damn you! John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? 
Women, don't listen to her. No. Let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. How to work ain't easy, Joan. No. But I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. <laughs> Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hey, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Whoop. They ain't looking for no problem. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, Joan. Sure. <gasps> You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. <sighs> Damn you! That's your cell at the end there. <sighs> We're gonna watch you swing. What for? Lester. You got some place to hide. enough feller if I could interest you in bounty work the posters on the wall it's a sorry situation with them mongrel dogs the Skinner brothers just when you thought this country had been civilized be a good girl now
Let's go, girl. Easy girl.
You're a good filly. Jesus, who'd do a thing like this? Hello? Not here.
Seems I caught me a wriggler. I'll cut you. I swear I will. Mind if I check your pockets? Let's get you up. I'm gonna bite you. You better, damn not. That was a nice hat you was wearing. I'll make you into a hat, mister. I would love to see you try. Get on there. There you go. Now, let's get you to Blackwater. How you feeling up there? It ain't a smart man. Turns his back on me. I'm gonna kill you. I could cut you anytime, mister. Got a wife somewhere? Right. You smell like you got a lady. I'd sure like to meet her, feller. Think you <laughs> may get a wife of your own in prison. You ever felt pain, mister? Real pain? Screaming, crying. Begging pain. I will put you to a fire. Have you? Ah, you're the one tied to the back of a horse. Now hush. You think they want me alive? They won't know what to do with me. Alive is how they're getting you. With a few bruises. Blackwater Police. Looking to sell your wares or buy some of the finest meat they ever freeze ah! Meat here. Hey, watch this. Business. Shit, no. My God, what a sight. Come on, Green. Let's get you inside. God damn it. I'll bite you. Yeah, yeah. Well, got you that Skinner, brother. Elias Green. Set me down. And breathe. Damn it. Put him in a cell. You ain't got a rope strong enough for me, Sheriff. Justice will be done and done quick. Lock him up. That man ain't worth spit. But here's what we're paying for him. You don't mean that, do you, Chief? 
Lucky we got time for me to check. Honest work for honest pay. You're making an old chief's life a little easier. Mind yourself, Dad. partner. Pardon me. I've lost my friend. Somebody help me, please. Morning. Morning. Has anyone seen Gavin? Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know the quickest way. Follow me. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash, so it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <sighs> All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Hey! We're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. What were you saying? People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, and putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Neil's. He's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Mill. Like I said, Nils is a... Uh... Nils! Nils, it's me. All right, then. Beecher's Hope. 
They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men like you. Oh! Okay, let's move! He took him down the hill!
Come on! Not too far! They're covering the retreat! Let's keep moving. We gotta be gaining on them. I hope so! They're coming out of the... Shoot them where they stand. They're coming out of the... What the hell are they doing? We have more arrows for you. Mr. Ryan, we're right here! Uh, we're you you call call the arrow, dog? Come find us if you can. I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. All right. Shit. Jesus. We gotta move fast. Come on. Let's go. Back to the road. Ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. <sighs> Did he? Skitters. Everyone knows. Except me. Later, John. Charles, you all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody, too. Is he. Is it. bad? They opened him up pretty good. Uh, nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them! Uh -huh. Mr. Wayne didn't make it! Dear Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on! Help me! All right. Let's get out of here. What'd they do to him? Nothing nice. Got it? Come on. We gotta go. Those goddamn animals. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to Beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something, too. What kind of land have I bought? You're gonna lame these horses. It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. Stick to the track. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. It was a caravan. A few months back, massacred. Men, women, children ended up like Wayne, or worse. Damn. Uncle! 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 You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Oh, what happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. 
Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town and get poor Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Morning, John. Something on your mind, John? Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate. <laughs>
have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter. Any weather. We're together. everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you, and that is I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Hey, boy. Good to see you.
Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin', so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months. Um, I can't move like I used to. Man, I never was that fast. about it. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. This is him. It'd be nice if you didn't run off from me again. So, what were you saying? Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt... I... And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, I'll. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. What's up? All right, the painted sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans. Some of them. But some is Californios. And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh, yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. 
I know something of that. And not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Yeah, I met him. Don't you get around. You know, I had some trouble of my own. We stop him? <laughs> That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got a hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched it. Bark the odd order at us. It's solid though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh. Well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. No damn time for Painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. 
Take me there. I'll be you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Come on! I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch! Two hundred! Three hundred for her head! Be quiet! Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Damn, Lomos. Shit. Ah, damn, death. Lobo. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San... Come on. men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks. Waiting all that time in that gym crack jailhouse. Keep up, won't you? No more of that, okay? So what were you telling? Yeah. Yes, we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. 
just said it was an odd thing. How we'd take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. I don't know, usually. If I got into who deserved what, second-guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hey! Hold up. Down there. A fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Let's go up.
I'm coming! Amigo, I'm coming. Might just be. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. So you were saying? A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Oh, the hell? Let's see if you remember. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? Wait for me! Oh, you let me go? 
I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, well, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. It's just me. Big mistake. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me. How was your holiday? I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. A house, a barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four tack to cat head. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Let's go. Skia! I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about them. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Come on. John, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving him. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp. 
But it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him, and we... S Did you hear something? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. Guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. Stay. To the trees. Come on. There, to the right. Two Skinners. Lookouts? Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. They're down. Move. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. John, stay with me. to our left. for something. Us, most likely. Come on. Let's find where they're holding him. Hold up. You hear that? Yeah. Wagon. There. Dragging someone. Is it Uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. He might lead us to the camp. <laughs> Stay with him. <laughs> he was gonna take us to them. Damn it. We have to find him ourselves. On me. I think I see something. Uh-huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder, take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Behind you! <sighs> All right, kids! This 
surprise is over. We're here for you. All of you. Ah. They're coming in from everywhere. Quick, Doug, get down here. Oh. There. We're here, old man. Hold on. You're out in the open up there. Okay, old man. I look okay. You look awful. You'll be okay. Those bastards. We got him. Oh. Looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Here come the rest of them. Quick! There's more of them. I'll cover you. Come on! Down that gully. By a hair. Hold on to me. On top of us! Whoa! And she is Got him? Cause here come the rest of them. Quick! There's more of them. I'll cover you. Come on! Down that gully. Get me out of here. I'll cover you. To the right! I didn't put him down!
Got him? Cause here come the rest of them. Quick! There's no I'll cover you! Come on! Down that gully! Get me out of here! Up on the log! To the right! Stay behind me! Your death! Don't always heal easy. Sure, but I think this will be fine. As long as it don't get infected. It's much better than I feared. Hear that, old man? This could have been worse. He's pretty weak. Yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you old bastard. Oh, don't let me fall, please. Oh, I don't feel good. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. Whoa! Easy. <sighs> Uncle. Uncle. Hey. Get him out oh, Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Don't get all sentimental now, old man. And I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Thank you.
You... You're... I... He always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so he reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on! Let's ride. We're off. Hey, here. Hello, boy. Me again. Been taking care of your horse, huh? So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. Ah, you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Say your goodbyes, Joe. Get your horse and let's go. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey, it's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was. It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I... I think, I know, I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already, long ago. No, n not really, not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. Damn it! We're cutting off the main track up here. My man's in need of post. So, we're coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Camping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. What's that for, huh? Well, they might have. Up here. Easy. <laughs> Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This... This looks... Looks like a bear. 
or something came through here. <sighs> and fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south, whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If you ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. Okay, I think I got him. Follow me. through here there's a cabin up here That our fella? Maybe, but looks more like a local farmer to me. He's gone. Oh, fucking monster. I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just, we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. Family man and all. Seeing all this? Uh, I don't know. What if I can do it again? I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But... I'm my own woman, and I get to say who you announcing on arrival, and I get to say who I ride with, and I don't know if your ranch, and your kid, and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I... Who's this up here? Is that? Are you Sadie? Hello, ma'am. Bounty hunter. Get off the road. Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshal Thorwell there, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. For doing what? Get off the road. We was thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection. Uh, me and my partner. We're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, well, we said we was going to have to take all of it. You're lagging, y'all. <laughs> you don't mess around, do you? Let's go. Yeah. Them bastards was green. If we didn't get them, someone else would have. 
This is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall. And I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Easy, easy. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you wanna hear about him? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work, that's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah, that's something we, well, I, I gotta do, with or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay, I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. Here, put him down. That was just beyond belief. Good boy. Howdy, partner. Ain't no point in fighting. Curor. Oh God, help me, please. I need. It's your lucky day. Oh, you know how this goes.
got you now. boy easy now How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Okay, sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But if you'd like him to, I guess. So you don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I... I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And it'll be pretty fun. I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you, even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean... Yes. I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just land and light. But to me, it's... It's... It's life. This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Uncle Jose. He was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh. Yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now, stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. He's... he's strong. Good. Now, reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now reel. I got him. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? How do you feel? I don't... I feel... I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. 
you did. Hey, my trip with Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the... Lord. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. I'll go find him. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here, boy! Let me come help you look. Are you sucking? Don't swallow it! Get the poison out! Dad! Rufus, no! Spit it out! He's gonna die! He's gonna die! He'll be okay. We're just... Got to get him somewhere warm and calm. Tell you what, woman, was a damn sight more peaceful round here before you came back. You're just lucky I'm Sorry, a soft man. cut. It's walk or work, old man. I got lumbago. You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I've worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston, Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston to you. Why you let him stay? Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since, since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we got something to show for it. The ranch, this life. It's so nice, John. I hope it'll only get nicer. May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, John. <laughs> and now to Blackwater. Is there anything you want to do? You said there were some things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. 
I know your idea of fun, John Marston. Oh, I ain't had a drink and... Well, I left those things behind me. No, I mean... Good. Wholesome fun. Like, uh... Decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. <laughs> well, decent or not, I still got some errands to run. That's fun. What would you like to do? Maybe... Get our portrait took, for starters? Portrait? There's a feller in town takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No! I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them, too. With any luck, Jack and Charles will eat up. Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna head to the drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You wanna come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. You're acting kind of funny. I am kind of funny. <laughs> a different kind of funny. Am I annoying you? No. I like this version of you, it just... It just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Oh, hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So, what do you think? Let's see the others. Just pull the lever, there, to release the next one. It's a weighted system, you see. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else they got. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. Ah, this one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to enjoy. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. Thought you were a cowboy. Poser. Oh, no. I'm a poser. I learned from the best. That is true. Feel free to use the chairs if you want. How's this? Perfect. Now, give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. What shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the marvel of the age. I love marvels. <laughs> come in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's playing? Something called Sketching for Sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. Two tickets, please, to see Sketching for Sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. Thank you again. Come on in. A mystery awaits.
It's just incredible. It's like they're really there. Hey, I'm trying to watch this. John Marston. <sighs> <laughs> That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Marston. What? I'm watching. Please. Shh. <laughs> Looks so real. It's not. Don't be such a sour puss. Shh. <laughs> Stop it. She's a piece of work. Really? Shh. Oh my, is it over? I think so. Come on. Be seeing you. All right, <laughs> we better get home. <laughs> oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> the farm, I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. <laughs> Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said... Mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. <laughs> I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. Don't think. We're borrowing it. I hope it don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? If you're asking something, just ask it. Will you... Will you marry me? <laughs> Get up. I am married to you. No, I mean proper. In front of God. You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. You serious? It would make me very happy. If you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I... I never... I didn't know what mattered to you. It didn't. But now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs>
Better not have forgotten me, boy. Sir Galsworthy put down his sword and, and took up his plow. He became the greatest apple farmer in the kingdom. Men used to travel all across Europe to eat his remarkable apples. But deep... I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear, what's for dinner? <laughs> what's for dinner? Away with you, you no-good parasite. You cook. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> John? Come out here! Come on! Let's get to Strawberry before he dries out. Which one of Mike's boys is it? Cleet! Which one? It was Cleet, the big... Or the little one? The one with the rat face. My memory is they both had rat faces. The little bastard with the rat face, then. Him? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk. You're damn right he will. We owe this to Arthur. Revenge. That might be something he could have understood. This ain't just revenge. It's about stopping the man. I hear you're taking bounties now. And I hear you're building houses. Mm-hmm. When I'm not killing old friends. Hell. Nowadays, I'm almost always killing old friends. Old friends and new. Ain't that right, John? Seems that way. You interested in bounty hunting, Charles? My last assistant <laughs> was put out to pasture. No, that work ain't for me. I, uh, I think I might get out of here. Go north, Canada, find a woman, start a family if I can. I see how that life... Well, I'd like to try it. Oh, hey, John. You've given him the family bug. I thought we would have inspired him to a life of celibacy and isolation. Hmm. You know, I've been thinking I might get out of here, too. Down South America, maybe? It's wild, but less mean, I guess. I'd run protection for a gold mine, or take up with a handsome revolutionary. I don't know. Something. See something else, at least. That all sounds good. Yeah, it all sounds real fine. But we got some business to take care of first. Then we find him. Okay, John, Charles, you take the other side of the river. I'll stay on this one. If we meet in the middle, we would have covered most of the town. If he's here, we'll get him. Okay, let's go. Sadie, with pleasure. Where's Micah? Micah? Why? Stop, 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 stop. No, 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 no. Tell me. Where's Micah? I don't know. I ain't seen him. We fell out. And you know what? 
I'm bored of this. Let's hang the bastard. What? Good idea. Oh, wait, hold on. Bring him up to the gallows. Move it! Let's go! Everyone loves a hanging. Come on! Damn you! Listen Keep moving. Hold on. Move. I, I swear. Climb. Stop, please. Stay away. You heard the lady. Get up there. Come here, you bastard. Move it. Come on. Move. Here. I want you stood right here. Stop. All right. String the no good murdering bastard up. Let's try this again. Uh, Where's Mike? Uh, Where's Mike? I already told you I ain't seen him. You lie. It ain't my fault. He tried to kill me. Where's Micah? Talk, or I'll pull this lever. Talk. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He, he's up in the mountains. I think he's, he's up in Mount Hagen. He got a whole gang now. Bad man. Doing bad things. I, I tried to stop him from murdering that little girl. We fell out. Honest. Please, I'm... I'm one of the good guys. <sighs> Hang him. No. No. There ain't no need. Let him swing. He's done. Thank you. Well done. Come on. The little rat said Mount Hagen. It's a long ride. Let's finish this. We're coming for you. Yeah. This pass will take us up into the high mountains. Lead the way. There's an old watchtower up there they might be using for a camp. Already, this pass will take us up into the high mountains. Lead the way. There's an old watchtower up there they might be using for a camp. There must be a sniper. Get in cover, quick. You alive, Charles? Don't be careful. 
Release this bastard! Stay low! We gotta get closer to it! We'll move on! Hey, you're okay. You're okay? I will be. Go on. Go on now. Move fast. They'll come down that hill and kill us all. Come on, John. I don't want to leave him. Hey, they know we're coming now. I will be fine. I'll follow you up. I just... I just can't move fast. Okay. Come on, John. Shit.
Shit! Look out! Get your hands off her! You all right? Just fine. You don't look too fine. Come on! You're bleeding pretty bad. Ain't nothing. You should sit down. I'm fine. You're dying. I'll be fine. Just sit. It's okay. I, I ain't dying. I ain't. I hope not. I ain't dying. Just go get him. I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Uh, okay. Charles, stay with her. Charles, you worry about yourself. I'll be up there who it is. in a minute. Ain't you gotta have it. Just showing up. Look who it is. Ain't you? That was Joe. We gotta be close. I'm here for you.
Face. Did you miss me? Not much. Been a few years. <laughs> How's that, uh, mm, whore of yours? She's good. Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. But I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hmm? And the boy. Whatever you say. I got more men coming, John! You should run away! and I are teaming up once more. We got money, we got dreams. <laughs> Money, we got <laughs> what are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you, I suppose. Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money, we got dreams. <laughs> Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. Now I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. You shot at me, son. You started. You betrayed me. I could say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You? You just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Let her go! She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch. Killing me won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, Master. Say something, Dutch! Say something! I ain't got too much to say no more. You shot me. 
<laughs> you shot me pretty good. Thank you. I... I... Jack, Uncle, come out here! It's over, Abigail. It's all over. <laughs> I'm going to where the sun burns in the heat stays in come and come and lay by my side right here to where the river turns to dust and god is never rushed come and lay by my side right here red i love you in the world it seemed to Make sense when Brother Santo said a oh, one more run be enough. I'm gonna be enough. Money for everything, silver toed boots and kerosene. Uh -huh. Come and lay by my side right here. All right, John Red, Marcy. Since you bought this millstone around our necks, we better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money. I, uh, I don't want to talk about that money. And no more that. <sighs> it's over, Abigail. I'm sure. Perfect. 